Hey everybody, this is Extreme Travesty. Welcome back to another episode of Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. In the last episode, we discovered that Celeste was behind the entire thing, coaxing Hifumi Yamada to kill Kiyotaka Ishimaru, and in turn, she killed Hifumi. So, we have put her to death for her actions. After the, co after the trial, though, Kyoko told us about a secret room in the back of a bathroom, but somebody attacked Makoto. And then we found out that Sakura may be the spy for the mastermind for Monokuma. So it's time to go into the next chapter and find out what's going on. Leon killed Sayaka. Monokuma killed Junko. Then Leon got executed. Then Mondo killed Chihiro. And then he got executed. Hifumi killed Taka. Then Celeste killed Hifumi. Then she got executed. And that brings us up to now. The next morning in the dining hall, the day after Celeste's case. So now there's only five of us here. <laughs> only a third of the number of people we started with. That's good math. Well, people in the, the dining hall, at least. Indeed. Loneliness has become commonplace. Hmm. That's true. Still. What did I see yesterday? I don't understand. Sakura is the mastermind spy? Can that really be true? Mm. Okoto, are you okay? Ah, no, I'm fine. I can't bring it up in front of the others. If I did that, it would just confuse everyone that much more. Okay. In that case, let's eat till we pass out. Huh? What do you mean, in that case? I mean... Well, cause look how scary everyone looks. It's gotta be cause you're all fighting on empty stomachs, right? If you feel your belly, I'm sure you'll all cheer up. So let's eat. Okay. Let's fry up some fish and donuts and eat till we can't stand up. What? That's like a deep impact style meteor impact extinction level event combination of foods. Huh? What? Those are both breakfast time top sellers. <laughs> Still, the till we can't stand up part is a problem. After we're done, we need to go explore. I see. That's right. Since the class trial is over, new areas should have opened up. It's true. Plus, we still have Alter Ego. We don't have to give in to despair just yet. She's right. We have to plan ahead and think about the future. You got it! <coughs> Sorry. Uh, I'll explain that in a second. Yeah, yeah. Think happy thoughts, not deathy thoughts. You know? Like when we're going to get out of here, right? For serious. When this is all over, I think I want to get reborn for serious. Or, I mean, reborn as someone serious. Well... Hey, are you okay? That sounds like something someone who's about to die would say. <laughs> I'm totally okay. I'm not going to die. Why? Because there aren't going to be any more murders. Um... What makes you so sure? According to the spirits... I predicted it last night. Since it revealed itself to me from the ether, there's no doubt about it. However... How accurate is your fortune telling anyway? How about that? I could usually hit 20 or 30 percent on a good day. Hmm... That seems really low. It's not like some occult mystery. And it's not like it's ESP or whatever. Of course I'm only gonna get it right sometimes. The occult is bullcrap! I told you my fortune telling isn't like some occult thing. So, um... Fortune telling isn't occult? You got it all wrong! Of course not. Clairvoyance is clairvoyance. Don't put it in the same category as cattle mutilation. Huh? Cattle what? So... He's referring to the urban legend where aliens abduct cows and dissect them as part of their research. Actually... No, you're calling it an urban legend? As a matter of fact, it's true. As a matter of fact, it's happened to me. Hmm. It all happened one day when I went to go get a hamburger. It was a place I'd never been before. 
but they claimed their patties were 100% all beef. So I got a burger to go and headed home. But before long, the end is nigh. The sky was filled with a mysterious blinding light. Some crazy beam came out of nowhere and locked onto my hamburger. And as soon as the beam touched it, the burger started floating in midair. And then, still floating there, the entire burger started coming apart. One part of it just vanished, while the rest fell back into my hand. Do you realize what that means? You don't have lunch? It means the burger wasn't 100% beef. It must have had some pork or something mixed in. Something like 70% pork and 30% beef would be my guess. You can't trick me. So I stormed back into the burger place and got up in the manager's grill, and they totally admitted it. It wasn't 100% beef. They totally mixed in ground pork with it. How about that? Now do you see? That is cattle mutilation. I kind of got lost halfway through. <sighs> you can't tell if you're for the occult or against it. You stink of stupidity. Don't be mean! I stink of... How dare you? <sighs> well, you do stink, though. <clears throat> That's fine. <clears throat> That's fine? Um, anyway... I hope your prediction turns out to be true. <laughs> well, at the very least, I won't murder anyone. Yeah! Me either. I mean, I would never. Of course. Me either. Indeed. Nor I. That goes for me too, of course. I could never kill any of my friends. I felt like those words of encouragement were helping us come together as one. After so much sacrifice and hardship, we'd finally become united. But, well... To be honest, I wish Byakuya and Toko were here for this too. But... They're so hard to deal with. They only think about themselves. <sighs> yeah, we're better off without them, I say. That was enough to prove. We were united for the time being, but within that bond hid weakness and fragility. Chapter 4, All-Star Apologies. We began our search as soon as we'd finished our breakfast in the dining hall. We had to find out what had opened up, what was waiting for us. Okay. Give me one second, I gotta cough again. <coughs> okay, so I've been sick over this past weekend and uh... I've had really bad stuffy nose and a really bad cough and stuff. But today it's a, it's a little bit better but I'm still getting still healing so with me sniffling and coughing every so often that's the reason why just so you guys know I, I wish I would have said it at the beginning of the video but I forgot so well now you know I wanted to get the content out though so actually I should I don't think anything on the first floor was new so second floor is nothing new either the sniffles and I passed the stairs. Cool. Breach of the third floor is pretty much everything I've already seen as well. Yep. Alright. That's the way down and the stairs are all the way around. Okay. I should look at my map real quick. Let's go back to the first floor, because I'm pretty sure, yeah, everything in the first floor should be pretty good as well. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, everything on the first floor is pretty much figured out. Ah! Everything, yeah, everything on the first floor is pretty much figured out, so fourth floor is really the only thing. Now we have access to the fourth floor of Hope's Peak Academy. Maybe this time we'll find some kind of clue. No, this time I have to find it. You do sound a little bit stuffy as well, I can tell. No good. Door's locked. Guess we won't be getting in here. According to the nameplate, this is called the Data Center. What's behind the door is totally a mystery. 
Yeah, I didn't read it right, I know, but it said the same thing. Let's see if I can find any money in these classrooms. I haven't spent a single one since that one time I had the, uh, uh, the gift from the machine just showing what it does. Ugh. I'm glad this floor got opened up and all, but there's like a ton of locked rooms up here. Well, that's no good. Why am I on the board? One day I saw Monokuma in class. Okay. <coughs> yeah, surveillance camera, nothing's good there. Clock, nothing. Hey, there we go. 352. I still don't have the uh, 999 coin achievement. I just skipped the other classroom, it doesn't really matter. Headmaster. The name plan on the door says Headmaster's Room. The Headmaster's Room. There must be something worthwhile in there. Huh? The door's locked. Damn it! Yeah. Office. This door's open. Oh, looks like we got another picture. This is the office. Of course, there's no hint of any teacher that we'd normally be able to rely on. There's a flower in the desk. Somehow it makes things feel that much weirder. Okay. Is that, is that just the same thing? Yeah, it's just the same thing. But more money! <laughs> Multiple for the same thing will give you money, money, money. And, of course, this is noticeable. There's a picture on the floor. This picture. What? Celeste, Hifumi, and Sayaka? The smiling faces of three people who are dead now. Classroom without metal plates over the windows. It's exactly the same. It's just like that picture I saw before. There's no way this isn't important somehow. They're smiling the way you'd expect any normal teenager to smile. Just a normal group of high schoolers, living a normal school life. I can't possibly believe they were able to smile like that in a world of despair like this. So does that mean this picture was taken before they ever came to Hope's Peak? Which would mean everyone in the picture knew each other before they got here? Including Sayaka? No, there's no way. Monokuma did it. It must be fake. <laughs> You're fake. Monokuma popped up out of nowhere and snatched the picture from her hand. A forgery plot? What are you, a middle schooler? You think the moon landing was fake too? Come on. Then you're saying this picture is real? Hey, um... If there was such a thing as the Nobel Truth Prize, I'd take first, second, and fourth place. Too bad! Actually, that's probably not true. I asked you a question. Is this picture real or is it a fake? Hmm. Oh, Makoto, you're so eager to split things in half, aren't you? Hey, um... It's no use. It's just no use. If you try to split something that can't be split, you'll end up feeling like you're the one being split. It's true! The picture is real. No more, no less. <laughs> Without another word, Monokuma disappeared. So the picture is real? It's really real? If that's true, if that's the case... We got some shit to figure out. The stairs to the fifth floor. Camera room. Inside the room, the smell of medicine was oppressive. So this is the chem lab. I hope inhaling all this stuff doesn't do permanent damage. It's a remarkably big shelf and is stocked with all kinds of medicine. What's wrong? Ah, listen, Makoto, listen. Just take a deep breath and calm down and listen to me. Speaking of which... <coughs> hey, 
Thank you for telling me to take a breath, because I needed to cough anyway. And sniffle. Yay! Okay, Hina, just chill out. There's all kinds of stuff we didn't have before. Vitamins, minerals, amino acids, creatine. And what? They even have protein Prime X. What's that? A high quality protein drink. It's nothing like that cheap swole in the warehouse. It's kind of sewer level. Oh yeah? <sighs> this is amazing. It's a gold mine. Ah, my prayers have finally been answered. Time to load up some more prayers then. Gold mine, huh? Hina and Sakura seem to be lost in a deep but friendly conversation. I need to find out what's going on with Sakura and the mastermind, but I can't while she's with Hina. Hey, Makoto! Huh? You need something? No, it's nothing. Huh? Sure? Okay, then. <clears throat> Alright. Sakura's lost in conversation with Hina. I need to find out what's going on with Sakura and the mastermind, but I can't while she's with Hina. Mm -hmm. What is it, Makoto? Did you need something? No, it's nothing. So then. Really? Well, okay. Yeah. Don't want to go too deep, much into detail. We got more stuff we need to figure out. Oh, I skipped a room. Music room. This is the music room. It's hardly even a classroom, it's more like an actual concert hall. Is this a grand piano? It seems really old, I bet it's worth a lot of money. Of course, without someone around who can play it, it's totally useless. Not if there's money in it! Hey. You know, you haven't told me what you think yet. What I think? So... About the secret room in the boys' bathroom? Ah! Well, um, I did find the secret room, but as soon as I started looking around, I was attacked. What? Attacked? By who? Well, they came from behind, and I didn't have any time to react, so I didn't see who it was. When it came to, the mountains of files and documents were all gone. I'm sorry. I know how important those were. That's fine. It's okay. I already saw what I needed to in there. I... And I half suspected the mastermind might come after you. What? Because... When I discovered the room, the mastermind must have seen me on the surveillance camera in the hallway. They must have seen me go into the boys' bathroom and not come out again. Still, I wanted you to go and see it. I wanted to see how the mastermind would react. Essentially, I wanted to find out if the mastermind actually knew about that room. It would seem... But to attack you and steal everything in the room. That must mean there was some unknown clue in there that could reveal the mastermind's identity. Then you knew I was going to get attacked? That doesn't matter. You can handle that kind of thing though, right? After all, you're a boy. What does she think a boy is? Fine, I understand. But let me ask you something else. Do you know about the note that was left in there? The note that said, you must not leave? Just a second. We shouldn't talk about that. Not here. Kyoko stole a quick glance at the surveillance camera. So... I'm looking into it. If I find out anything, I'll let you know. Listen to me. Is that okay? She made it sound like she was asking, but it was clear I wouldn't have any say in the matter. So then... Now it's your turn. Let's hear your secret. Huh? Hm. Would you think I wouldn't notice? You're hiding something. Am I wrong? That's... What? What's the matter? If you're worried about the camera, why not just write it down? Um, well... Hey. We're friends, so you should be able to trust me. Isn't that what you said before? You're right that there shouldn't be any secrets between friends, but... There's nothing worse than expressing doubt about your friend than you don't have evidence for. Huh. Well, it's decision time. And I'm going to leave that for the next episode. So, 
in the next episode, we have to decide whether we're going to tell her or not. See you guys next time.